morning, everybody. Um, I've gotten a couple of questions about linear pairs, adjacent angles. Uh, a lot of these uh, new terms are being thrown at you. Um, notice the assignment today was just on Mathia because um, I'm hoping that you get some practice on this. And this is something we typically in class we would obviously spend some time on and we'd do some hands-on activities. But because of our situation, it's making it a little more difficult. But I'm going to give you a crash course, and I'm hoping that... Uh, that you're going to be able to make some connections with uh, what you're about to see. So, first thing we're going to talk about is something called a straight angle. And actually, before that, let's actually even talk about what in the world is this angle thing um, that we've been talking about. Uh, let's do this. I need an arrow. There we go. Okay, actually, let's do this guy. Okay, so if I start off with a ray, okay, and I'm going to grab another ray here. Okay, so there's my other ray. So if I put these two together, right now I have nothing. Okay, if you can picture here, I have, I have a zero degree angle. There's nothing there. As soon as I open this, notice that an angle begins to form right in here. So if I kind of draw something here, right here, we got an angle forming. Okay, this is uh, so far what we would call an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. Okay. But as I keep on opening this, so we have acute, 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 we get to our first benchmark angle, which is a right angle. And a lot of times you would see a symbol down here to indicate that this is a right angle by they draw a little right angle symbol, a box. Okay. Um, so there's our first benchmark angle, right angle. If I keep going, oops, I don't want to do that. If I keep going, I will get to greater than 90, which we call obtuse. So I went from acute to right to now obtuse, and I'm going to keep on going, keep on going, keep on going until I get to our first major angle that's going to help us understand some things for today. And this guy is called a straight angle. Um, so before I talked about how if you'd open up a book and lay it flat, okay, here is our straight angle. This is 180 degrees. So if you ever hear anybody say, hey, I'm going to change my life, I'm going to do a 360, that actually doesn't make any sense because if you do a 360, you're going to end up right back where you started. That's 360 degrees. So if you want to change your life, that means you want to do a 180. Notice now we're going in opposite directions here. Okay, this is a 180 degree angle. Okay, so called a straight angle. Um, we can also notice that this is basically a line and that word line is going to be key um, for our next um, vocabulary word. So I'm going to bring in another ray here. So if I bring another ray here, notice that I now have two angles. I have angle one right here. So we'll call this guy angle one. And then we have angle two. Let's change colors here. Angle two is now over here. And that didn't change colors for me. A little turd. There we go. This is angle two. Okay. Now, if I look at angle one and I add that to the measurement of angle two, what can you tell me? What What is going to be the sum of those two angles? Well, remember we had this linear pair here, or excuse me, this uh, straight angle down here, and we said that was 180 degrees, and all I did was I divided that one straight angle. So if I draw... Here's my one straight angle. There's the straight angle. And I divide it into two angles. So that means that has to add up to 180 degrees. And this is what we call a linear, linear, and oh, I noticed something. Ah, the word line is in the word linear. So here's my linear, oh, this is a pain writing with my mark. I just want to use my hands. All right, there's my linear pair, which means it's a pair of angles that add up to 180, but also notice that they are right next to each other. Okay, they share this common side. So angle one and angle two, they share this common side and they also share this vertice right here, this vertex. Okay, vertice would be plural. Um, so notice we have an algebra word here, linear. 
Okay, remember we talked about linear relationships, our relationships that form a straight line, a constant pattern. Here's my line, and again, I divide it into two angles. Notice that these two angles are also supplementary because they add up to 180. Okay, so now I have my linear pair. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this stuff down here. Hopefully you're jotting notes. It is going to be very important for you to take notes. Okay, so um, just cleaning that mess up there. So again, we have angle one. We have angle two. Now, if I continue this, this ray right here, if I continue this, okay, you will notice I have two new angles that formed. So now we have angle three and we have angle four. Now, if we were in class, we would get out the protractors and I would have you measure these four angles so that you could see some relationships and you could start coming up with your own conclusions. But what you would find is that this angle right here, angle one, is congruent, which means equal, to angle three. And we would say angle one and angle three, notice I'm not adding these angles together, these are called vertical, vertical angles. And that's another vocabulary word, okay? They're called vertical angles, and they are congruent. They're equal to each other. So that means if this guy is 70 degrees, this guy down here is also 70 degrees. So again, these guys laying around in togas, doing all this math a long time ago, these are the patterns, again, they notice. They notice this, and again, we can use this to help us. So if I know this angle, I don't have to get all my protractor measure this angle. I already know these are vertical angles. Bam, they're congruent. That's 70 degrees. Okay, now, if you come back up here, do you remember what we said about angle one and angle two? Do you remember how we call these a linear pair, which means they have to add up to 180 degrees? So if this is 70 degrees, 70 plus what is going to give me 180? Very good. That's 110 degrees. So now I have my linear pair here. And oh, look at this. Angle two and three are also a linear pair. Notice they add up to 180 and they share a common side and they share a vertex. Okay. And then lastly, look at angle four. Do you notice how angle four looks a lot? Now I'm going to put two arcs around this guy because I'm gonna put two arcs around this guy, which tells you this is a geometry symbol, which tells you these two angles are congruent. Just like notice there's one arc around here and one arc around here, these two are congruent. So angle two and four are also what we call vertical angles. They are congruent, okay? And you can name a bunch of linear pairs, right? We got three and four. Those are linear pair. We got one and four. We got one and two. We got two and three. We can go right around. So angle four, I didn't put this guy in yet. This would also be 110 degrees. Okay, now we have a couple different ways we know that, right? Because we could say angle two and four are vertical. They're congruent. We could say that four and three are a linear pair. So they have to add up to 180 so I can get it that way. And the relationships are going to continue to build here. The vocabulary, obviously, has continued to build because we got to call it something different so we can differentiate these things. So we have our vertical angles. We talked about linear pair. And the other one that I had a question was, what is what are adjacent angles? Well, adjacent is a very common word. That's not a math word. Adjacent means next to. Okay, I'm going to slowly write this word, adjacent. Okay, here we go, adjacent. So I am next to somebody, I'm adjacent to them. Okay, so angle one and angle two, we would call adjacent angles. They are next to each other, they share this common side. Angle one and four are adjacent angles. Angle four and three are adjacent angles. Angle three and two are adjacent angles. Now the thing about adjacent angles are, it doesn't really help us out a ton because it doesn't tell us that you know they don't add up to 180, they don't add up to 90, there are no rules for adjacent angles other than they are right next to each other and they share a common side. That's it. All right, so hopefully that helped you a little bit um, and gave you just a little bit of information. Again, I'm going to go through your homework with you. Um, tomorrow we're going to have another Google Meet at 9.30. Um, so 
Hopefully you can uh, meet me at 930 and uh, we will go through some of the stuff. Um, actually, I take that back. 945 is when we're going to do our, our Google Meet. 945 because I have another one at 930. So 945 tomorrow and I'll put that in Classroom Connection. Have a great day, guys. Get outside sometime. Peace.